What's happening everybody? Chris Beans here with Bullers Rant, bringing you some new updates from Storm Bowling. Okay, we are heading back over to the overseas market, my favorite place where you get all the best core and cover combinations. Let's jump right in and see what we got. Front and center, Marvel Max Whirl. Now this ball has one word written all over it and that is versatility. So first of all, let's take a look at what this ball looks like. Got a really interesting pour. Um, really interesting, right off the bat, you see it says NRG, two right so that typically means uh nano right and that means a part two nano so that's really good so really nice pour got the storm logo marvel world but it's all about the specs and the first thing i'm going to tell you right now is whatever this graphic is this must be like a photoshop photo because this isn't the actual um way it looks see down here you can see in the graphic so i'm guessing this was a photo so let's jump into the specs this ball has the energy 2 pearl reactive cover stock and it features the centripetal core the color, black, electric blue, and yellow. Very, very nice pour. Very different style of pour. Uh, 1500 grit polish, that's fantastic. It's gonna have a lot of flair. The fragrance, green apple. And the numbers at 15 pounds, 2.48 RG with a 0 .050 differential. So let's talk about what this ball is all about. So you have a symmetrical, shiny pearl. Typically, this is your versatile ball. This is something you can use in a variety of conditions, house shot, or you can modify it for a sport shot, depending on what kind of sport shot. Uh, and it's got a fair amount of flair. So when you look at this ball, this is something you would ball down to for something that like a, um, you know, an Axiom, you know, something or, you know, one of these stronger uh, symmetric pearls like a uh, High Road Max. If you're looking for something to go cleaner down the lane and snap on the back. So let's go back, take a look. There is a couple more things here. So this core, we've seen this in a variety of uh, balls, uh, notably the Sonic, right? And a version of this was in the Marvel Pearl. And they've got a lighter version of the centripetal core with a lower differential in the IQ series. So a lot of different balls have had this core. We do have uh, a little bit of ball motion to show you. So there is a video here that uh, we can get into. Um, you see it right here. So there's a video and we've got it queued up. Let's take a look at the ball motion. So. Here's the um, bowler. He's gonna, you know, uh, sh you know, wipe it off real quick. It is a shiny pearl. Throwing from the right. There it is. Boom. There's the ball. Snap. Looks really, really good. Here it is in slow motion. Really clean. Comes back and just destroys the pocket. So all in all, looks fantastic. I'm gonna tell you, I am not complaining about that ball one bit. So if you are a regular bowler, I would just tell you, just keep it the way it is. Put your favorite layout on there and you're off into the races. Looking good. Let's move on to the next one. So we've got the solution, okay? So this is an asymmetric ball. Let's take a look right into the specs. So uh, don't think we've got the 3D version of it here like the other one. Uh, this ball has the GI21 Pearl Reactive cover stock. The color, fire, red, purple, gold. I think I like this one better than the other one. This is a very, very interesting pour. It really blends well. Kind of sandy with the, with the way it's made. It almost looks like it's been spray painted. Uh, it's got the Rad A core. So that's really, really interesting because this is um, a newer edition than the Rad 4 or the Rad E core. 1500 grit polished, the fragrance cherry vanilla. And the number's at 15 pounds, 2.52 RG with a 0.051 differential and 0.014 asymmetric differential. So the, let's talk about this ball because, uh, again, this is basically your asymmetric pearl, okay? So this is something that you would, in, in if you wanted something a little bit more high performance than the ball that we just saw, uh, something a little more torque, asymmetric typically is they start up earlier and they read, they start, you know, they move front to back, right? So there's a quicker break point. They tend to be sharper off the spot. Uh, the numbers that are on this ball is really interesting, right? So if we go back and look at the numbers, uh, 252, so it starts later than typically your more bigger, heavier core uh, asymmetrics. And so if that typically the case, you got to back off a little bit on the differentials. You got 051 differential, but this asymmetric differential, 014, typically balls in that range scream a little bit more versatile for the house shot and not as heavy as like an 021 or 022, like you'd see a, like a like on a code black or like a dark code or something. So this is something that screams house shot killer. Now there is a miniature uh, movie about this ball. This was a really big release overseas. Uh, but I was able to skip through the first 10 minutes and 28 seconds so we can get to the actual ball motion. Here we go. Let's take a look. There's the ball. Wind up. Boom. That sideways motion is fantastic. Looking really, really sharp. So let's look at that one more time. Here's another ball. Boom. Wham. Looking sharp. 
I'm not going to lie, that motion looks absolutely fantastic. And once again, I am peanut butter and jealous of the overseas market. They get all the best stuff. Storm, if you're watching, I would love to throw one of these and the other one or any of them if you ever wanted to send me one. All right. So coming back to reality, let's take a look at the last one on the list. We've got the High Road Wave. Yes, a new High Road. Uh, this ball features the uh, NRG Pro Reactive cover stock. The color is white and navy. It's got the inverted FE2 core. We've seen that on all the high roads. 1500 grit polished. The fragrance berry splash. That's probably my favorite. I would think I would like that one the best. And the numbers at 15 pounds, 2.57 RG with a 0.046 differential. So when you look at this style of ball, this is, uh, again, a symmetrical pearl. The uh, difference is between this one and the marbles that this one at 257 is going to start up a lot later. So it's going to be longer down the lane and probably a little bit boomier in the back with one exception, it's uh, it's NRG, it's Nano. So if we go back, Nano has certain properties. So Nanos tend to be a little bit smoother than straight up something like Reactive Resin on R2S. So I would expect this to be a very long, sweeping late arc into the pocket. Again, at 1500 grit polish, you know, like all most of the high roads we've had, like the High Road Pearl or even the original High Road, uh, you can do a variety of things to this condition to uh, tune it for whatever you want. The crankers who are high speed would probably scuff it to blend out the reaction. So all in all, looking solid. No ball video on this one. But that is what we've got for today. If you want to learn more about these balls, um, take a, you know, you can go look at them on YouTube or take a look at the video description in case I come up with some interesting links. And don't forget to check out the overseas section on bowlersmart.com. And if you absolutely need to pick one of these up, you can head on over to the Facebook groups. But be prepared to pay a pretty penny. Balls like this typically come in the neighborhood of $300 more or shipped. That's right can hit the penny uh, the pocketbook but you will have something that nobody else has so that's what we've got for today so what do you think of these balls do you like the high road wave what about the marvel max world and how about the solution and if you were to get one what layout would you go with drop me a comment let me know let's continue the conversation more updates are coming and until then bow well